Okay, so in this problem we have an infinite series, and we're being asked to use the integral test to determine whether the series converges or diverges. So there's other ways of doing this problem that are much easier, but in this particular question, uh, the question was asking for the integral test. So let's go through the motions of using the integral test. So the first thing you do when you're using the integral test is you call this piece here f of x. So you say, okay, f of x is equal to this. And then you have to uh, verify the requirements of the integral test. Now, if you're doing this for a class or something, you know, your teacher might require that you, you know, verify everything. I typically just say, hey, just state the conditions. That's good enough. So notice, so what are the conditions? F is positive. So positivity is one of the conditions. So positive for x greater than or equal to 1. It certainly is positive. Continuous, so continuous for x greater than or equal to 1. And the last one is decreasing, decreasing for x greater than or equal to 1. So again, depending on what you're doing this for, um, the amount of work required to verify these things could vary. Um, so I usually just tell my, my students just, um, you know, that's just state it. At least state the conditions. This one's really easy to verify. You could take the derivative and uh, show, I guess, that it is uh, negative. Okay, um, so now I suppose uh, we have to use the integral test. So the integral of test applies. So let's say that. So the integral test applies. And so what the integral test says is if you have these conditions, then this infinite sum and this improper integral will either both converge or they'll both diverge. So what you do now is you look at this integral. If this integral converges, then your series converges. If this integral diverges, then your series diverges. So let's go ahead and look at this integral. So we're going from one to infinity of one over three to the x dx. And this is pretty easy to uh, integrate. Let's first maybe rewrite it though. This is one to infinity. Let's write it as one third to the x. You can certainly do that because you can write one as one to the x and then use properties of exponents. And maybe it's been a while uh, since you've seen this integral, but this is basically going to be one third to the x over the natural log of one third. It's a formula from the past and we're going from one to infinity. So if you have, if you have a to the x dx and you integrate that, the formula is a to the x over ln a plus c. So this randomly comes up in mathematics and this is one of those uh, random places where it just happened. When there's an infinity here, what you do is you put a limit on the outside and you replace the infinity with a variable. I like to use little b and b will approach b will approach infinity. So we have one third to the x, ln one third, and we're going from one to b. Okay. So, so far so good. Now we plug in the b first. So this is equal to the limit as b approaches infinity. I'm going to leave this one over ln one third on the outside like this. And so we'll plug in the b. So we have one third to the b. Then you subtract and then you plug in the one. So one third to the one. Beautiful stuff. All right, good stuff. So then uh, as b goes to infinity, one third to the b, because one third is a number between zero and one and b is getting big, this is gonna go to zero. So this is equal to one over ln one third times negative one third, right? Because it's zero minus one third. This is a number, so this 
infinite, uh, this not infinite, this improper integral is equal to a number, so it converges. So the integral converges, therefore by the integral test, our original series also converges. I'll use the three dots, that means therefore. Therefore, our OG, OG means original, series converges by the integral test. It's extremely important to know that this is not the value of the sum. This is just the value of the integral. It's a common uh, misunderstanding. If we had gotten something that wasn't a number here, like infinity or negative infinity or DNE, then we would get divergence. Just a really quick recap. So when you're using the integral test, which is absolutely a last resort, again, in this problem, we were being asked to use it, and so that's the only reason uh, we're using it. You first call this piece f of x, and then just mentally verify that it's positive, continuous, and decreasing. If that's the case, then the integral test applies. And what that means is that your infinite sum, which is right here, and your improper integral, which is right here, will either both converge or they will both diverge. So then you work it out. You work out your integral. Usually it's pretty easy, the integral. Usually it's not too difficult. Uh, if you get a number, then it converges, and then that means that your original series converges by the integral test. If you don't get a number, so if you get infinity, negative infinity, or DNE, that means that your original series diverges by the integral test. Um, if you're feeling a little bit insecure about the decreasing part, let me just show you really quickly. It'll just take a second. If you uh, rewrite this function as one third to the x, and you take the derivative, the derivative of one third to the x is one third to the x times ln one third. It's a formula. Okay, the derivative of a to the x is a to the x ln a. So here it's one third to the x ln one third. And this is less than zero. And the reason is ln one third is a negative number. If you think about the graph of the natural log, it has an x intercept at one and it has a vertical asymptote at zero. So the natural log of any number between zero and one in this green area is going to be negative. So you have one third to the x times a negative number, which gives you a negative result, which means that your first derivative is negative, which means that your function is decreasing. So kind of an interesting uh, problem. I hope this video has been helpful to anyone out there who is trying to learn some calculus. And keep in mind, the integral test is, in my view, the worst one because it requires more work. It does require some integration. So last resort type stuff here. Good luck.